Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Ryan bringing you another video today and I just wanted to make a quick market update because our last major market update was about 11 or 10 days ago. It was on the 11th of November and we are now on the 21st of November and since then we've had a couple of things play out that I mentioned in my last video that we really wanted to see. Um, and things are looking really, really promising right now. And I know it doesn't look like it at the moment in the chat, but you'll see as I go through the video why I ex why I explain how I'm feeling and how bullish I am at these lows right now. It's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, let me just show you that clip from my last video, my last market update 10 days ago, and you can get a gist of what I was saying and we can delve into what we've what's happened since then. We can imply that this move to the downside is similar to the top up here. It would imply that this is not the bottom and we have a little bit of a rise up in the market, come down, set one new low to get to that 15,000 zone, 15,500, but the RSI to move up a little bit, come down and give us that hidden, that bullish divergence, sorry, like we got the bearish divergence at the top here. So just bringing us back now to the current times in the market, it is the 21st of November today and you can see since our last video on the 11th, of, 11th and 10th of November, we got that rise back up in the market. You can see here we came back up, the RSI came back up as well as we was expecting on the daily time frame and since then we've dropped in the market and you can see where we've come to there, 15,484, so not quite 15,500 as I said but um, only $16 off there, a nice reaction. And what you can see is we set a lower low, as we mentioned, and we've set a higher low in the RSI. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. So as everyone in the market today is panicking with this little move in Bitcoin, this is a nothing move really in terms of Bitcoin and what it can do and what the cryptocurrency market can do. But everyone's panicking here on, on news again and rumours of things. And again, these these things do come out at the right times and at the wrong times to make you the make make you make the wrong decisions. So just remember that if you're being told a bit of news, make no mistake about it. The news is already known to the people who affect the market. And at that point, as you begin to get the news late and make decisions, rash decisions, emotional decisions, you'll just get counteracted on that because at the lows here today, I think the news was something about Genesis or something like that. And right at the bottom there, people will have seen that news and thought, oh, I'm going, I'm just going to sell, whatever. And then we get a nice reaction out of the zone after taking the lows with the bullish divergence on the daily, as we was expecting. So these are things that you just need to keep in the back of your mind when you see things like this. And try and stay level-headed in the market because it's not easy. I'm so having discussed some of the psychology behind some of the moves and to the upside and downside, um, let's just have a look at some previous examples where we've been in a downtrend, got a move to the upside, but what happened before that? So I think one of the key moments in the market back in 2019 was this low here and then the rally to the upside. Quite the similar thing to what we're anticipating to the upside here for Bitcoin. So if I just take that bottom wick there, wick to wick you can see the, the reactions here i'll just show you one two three and that was the support so if we just take the bottom of this wick here to the bottom of that wick there what has that last candle recently just done all it's done is just come down and retest that trend line and even with a fair test of a trend line you would even expect a bit of more manipulation so even a breakthrough and close back up below so really in the market the market structure at the minute although everyone sees these big candles to the downside and gets worried if you'd have got worried back here you'd have missed the rally there if you would got worried at this big red candle here you'd have missed the full bull run you know the and new stories come out at the bottom of these big candles these big red candles all the time to make people panic and make rash decisions as I mentioned earlier so really if you've managed to keep your head today among the news and this little small <laughs> red candle today have a look at the bigger picture what have we done we've just retested a couple of trend lines to the downside we've made some bullish divergence that we was really looking for on the daily time frame the bullish divergence is still there on the weekly time frame um, and and on the um, daily time frame as well so really what 
we, we don't really have much to worry about at the minute. Market is still hovering around these areas. It's what we expect because, as I mentioned in that last video, at the top here, we have numerous weeks where we keep spiking into a range, spike into a range, and then reverse, and you're never going to expect it. You're probably never ever going to catch the bottom, and it's never going to feel like it. But all you can do is read the signs here, say what you're seeing, and if this was happening at the top of a market with the RSI, with bullish news, a lot of people would be calling for counter trading and saying, you know, look, this is a moment where you want to maybe take profit and get out of the market quite substantially. Whereas on this at this moment here where everyone's in fear, no one really wants to get into the market. And nothing has really changed since our last market update other than a couple of things playing out that we wanted to play out. So really it was just a quick market update today on some progress that we've had in the market really on the daily time frame. The bullish divergence has appeared. Um, it doesn't have to react straight away and we just go up straight away. We don't have to do any of this at all. But we're just analysing analyzing the psychology behind the moves, analyzing the market, market sentiment, and just sticking to analysis only, um, and ignoring really news, because if you trade off the news, I think you're going to get burnt in the long term most of the time. So yeah, cheers guys. It's not financial advice, and I'd really appreciate it. If anyone's new around here, drop a subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you think. But other than that, cheers guys. I will see you next time.